Senator Bennett joining others. Why want the president removed immediately? Karen Morfitt talked to constitutional law experts about the possibility. Karen, our state attorney general says this would be a first in the country's history. And Jim, while impeachment is really front and center right now for this discussion, there's a reason why these experts say the 25th Amendment was brought up. It would mean immediate action, like you said. And this is what a lot of these political leaders are calling for right now. As the dust settles on Capitol Hill, the focus has turned to next steps. And while impeachment has taken over the discussion, the possibility of invoking the 25th Amendment remains. It's not something we've ever seen before. It's now on the table for good reason. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser, also a former law professor, says it was put in place should an active president's ability to perform necessary duties come under question. And it provides a procedure where the cabinet and the vice president can, by a vote, determine a president is unfit to serve. With only weeks left in the president's term, many question why now and could it make an impact. The great advantage of Section 4 of the 25th Amendment is that it allows for an immediate transfer of power to the vice president. The answer is yes. CU professor Paul Campo says the short timeline makes it a better option than impeachment. And if challenged by the president, Congress would have the final say. Because there's only 13 days left in Trump's term, the House of Representatives could just say, we're not dealing with this, and then the clock would run out, and Pence would remain acting president for the rest of Trump's term. Attorney General Weiser says the ability to make changes quickly will likely be a driving factor going forward. The most important goal that we're looking at is how do we ensure no harm until the end of the term, and a peaceful transition of power. Now, even if a majority of the cabinet did agree to invoke the 25th Amendment, it would have to include Vice President Mike Pence. He is going to have to sign off on moving forward on invoking the 25th Amendment. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. And it's likely neither will happen. The issue is Congress isn't supposed to be in Washington for the next week and a half. The members are due to return just one day before Joe Biden takes office.